trying to be serious for once. You get out. In my ah. season, you're too blind. Crook mode. <laughs> Let her finish. There might be a compliment in there somewhere for me. Highly unlikely. Well, you know it's not something we need to prepare for just yet. Were you talking about this? No, for goodness sake. <laughs> I simply wanted you to know, both of you, but mainly me, that it's been an honor to be your friend. Did you give her Alihopsy? No. And that's it. As our paths may lead, I shan't forget you. Both of you. Especially you. I feel like I should say. I feel I should tell you. But I, I, feel, I feel the same. Except about you. Charming. I despise uh. you both. Now when are we getting those buttons? to pick a professor to race against it'd be Hackett. I'm serious, she's a thousand years old. Or seventy-five. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Rebellion.
trouble, are we? Paid up to that good. Thought as much. Rebellion. That young It's a wonder she's not gobbled up by her own fanged geranium. What about the room, Professor? I was thinking the same thing, Deke. Perhaps you could help. Oh, excuse, Deke. Ah, there you are. I trust your first classes went well? They did, Professor. I heard as much from Professors Hecate and Ronan. Seems Professor Fig taught you quite a bit before you arrived. I'd wager there's a good deal more to your travels here than what you've told me, isn't there? And then Professor Fig said anything. Oh. Have you and Professor Fig not discussed my training? He continues to be reticent about the details, mentioning only a few spells. Revelio, was it? And Lumos? That's correct, Professor. I see. Like trying to get a sonnet from a streela. Regardless, you must continue to build upon what you've learned. In that regard, I've asked your professors to help hasten your progress with some extra assignments. I'm not sure I have time for extra assignments, Professor. You shall find the time. You'd be astonished to know just how much you don't know. In fact, Professor Ronan will meet you outside momentarily to assign your first one. Now, regarding the trip to Hogsmeade I mentioned earlier, we've arranged to replace the supplies lost on your way here, including seeds, potion recipes, and spell crafts. Thank you, Professor. And Mr. Ollivander will connect you with the perfect wand. You've managed your classes well with a borrowed wand, but you'll find the magic you cast with your own wand to be far superior. I'm ready to go. What more can you tell me about the potion tablets? There's an Ollivander's in Hogsmeade. There is. Most people are familiar with the shop in Diagon Alley. We're fortunate to have someone like him nearby. Mr. Ollivander is a genuine craftsman and highly skilled wand maker. I would trust no one else to pair me with a wand. Okay, what more can you tell me about the potions shop? Can you tell me more about the potions shop, Professor? J. Pippin's potions stocks a wide array of potions ingredients, although they rarely sell recipes. Professor Sharp asks that they have a couple of particular recipes on hand for you. I've never heard of a spellcraft before, Professor. What is it? A spellcraft is a recipe of sorts used when conjuring objects. I shall explain more about them when you begin working with transfiguration magic. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Very well. I'd like you to make your first visit to the village with a classmate. Help you get your bearings. Perhaps Sebastian Sallow or Natsai Onai. I've noticed you spending time with them. I'd like to go with Natty. Excellent choice. Miss Onai is one of our most talented students. And she knows the area. She'll keep you well clear of any of Victor Rookwood's undesirables en route. Rookwood? A rather unsavory local. Best to avoid him and his associates, including his right hand of sorts, Theophilus Harlow, if you can. Once you've finished Professor Ronan's assignment, your friend will meet you at the castle doors. No time to waste. The sooner you complete your work, the sooner you can enjoy a butterbeer at the Three Broomsticks.
speak to Professor Rondo see your first assignment. Ah, there you are. No, 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 bro. Wait a minute. You have a new spell to teach me, Professor. Indeed I do, and an exceedingly useful one at that. The mending charm, Repero. Fixes things right up, makes a broken object good as new in the blink of an eye. Hmm. It seems as if that might come in handy. More frequently than one would imagine. As Professor Weasley mentioned, I am not the only one who will be teaching you spells outside of class in an effort to catch you up with your peers. A number of your professors have agreed to do so as well, but first, each shall ask that you complete a few preliminary tasks to hone your magic. I have arranged some for today. See them through and then report back to me. <laughs> we will have you casting Ropero in no time. I'll start on the task right away, Professor. <laughs> this is the right area. I wonder where the flying page is. Page must be around here somewhere. Might some kind soul help me? I trust the preliminary task. I completed the assignments, Professor. Marvelous. You clearly know your way around basic charms. Let us give the old mending charm a try then, shall we? Remember to be deliberate in your enunciation and movements. I want to see some vigor. Now, wand at the ready. Yes, sir. Remember, your wand is a conduit of your magic. Hmm, let's go to Hogsmeade. The mending charm is going to be used to open up some rooms. That's it! Very good! If you would like to practice mending something, have a go with that broken statue in the alcove by the water. It allegedly symbolized heartbreak. Perhaps a jilted lover thought it too accurate and lashed out. resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. Hmm. Revelio. No. Hmm. 
Rebellion. My interest in herbology then. Hello, looking for me? Natty, I hope I haven't kept you waiting long. Not at all. Professor Weasley tells me that you need to go to Hogsbeat. You must be eager to have your own things again. And to see the village. I've been looking forward to it. Good. Shall we set off? I intend to give you a first-rate Hogsmeade experience. I was glad Professor Weasley asked me to accompany you. Really? Yes. I had planned to extend an invitation to you myself. I thought you might enjoy a butterbee in the village. I bet garlic. <laughs> the timing of Professor Weasley's owl was perfect. I cannot tell you how nice it is to breathe fresh air after being cooped up in ancient rooms. Grave mistake to take it as an elective class, believe me. I believe Where's my broomstick? I'm gonna Though I suppose you would not really call it elective when your mother was the one who elected that you take it. Hogsmeade is beautiful this time of year. Everyone will tell you to visit at Christmas. But that's one of the few times of year I would rather be indoors. <laughs> not much for the cold, are you? Oh, I do not mind the cold so much. But it has taken some getting used to. I did not grow up around snow. Oh, wait, over here. I often spot lacewing flies in this area. Oh? What's so special about them? They are interesting to look at, but if you stew them, you can also use them in potion making. Hmm. Look, from the Forbidden Forest, Hippogriffs. I wonder if something startled them. I heard rumors that Hippogriffs had been spotted nearby. He's already seen the hippogriffs. Absolutely. Likely already named them, too. That's the Forbidden Forest on the left. It's off limits to students, as the name implies. Why is it off limits? The professors claim it is too dangerous. I think that calling it forbidden only makes it more alluring. Ah, there's Hogsmeade over the crest, past that ruin. I would spend all of my time exploring if I could. I confess, I was surprised when Professor Weasley mentioned that you knew the area, since you're relatively new here. She said that? Mm. She knows more about me than I had thought. I will say, while I certainly learn a great deal in class, much can be gleaned outside of the castle walls. My brother promised me he'd help how are you settling in? 
I remember the weeks that followed my arrival feeling quite strange. Everything was so new and unfamiliar. I'm getting used to things. What about you? Do you finally feel settled? I still miss my homeland, but it is beautiful here too. And getting out of the castle and exploring helped me to adjust quite a bit. Hogwarts has become something of a home now, I would say. Hopefully it will for you too. Mr. Moon! He is the Hogwarts caretaker. Looks a bit worse for wear. Hello, Mr. Moon. <gasps> Have you met our new fifth year? Pleasure. Um, you might want to turn back, Miss on I. Uh, turn and run. Is everything all right, sir? Oh, it looked right at me. Eyes big as saucers. What did Mr. Moon? Jimmy, guys, ugly and airy and mm, terrifying. I shall be at the castle where it's safe. Good luck to both of you. Poor Mr. Moon. A Debbie, guys. I think he had too much fun in the village. I will say that I have never seen him in such a state. Nearly there. There is much to see outside of the castle walls, not just hugs me. Revelio. I am happy to explore whenever you'd like. Rumors being what they are about goblins and such, it might be nice to have a friend with you. I'll keep that in mind, Natty. Thank you. And here we are. It is hard to know where to start. The Three Broomsticks is the place for butter beer. And you can get any sweet you can imagine at Honey Dukes. I could not choose a favorite shop here. It changes with every visit. I can tell you that you are certain to find everything you need in Hogsmeade. Professor Weasley said that you need to get potion recipes, spellcrafts, some seeds, and... A new wand. Of course. You will enjoy Mr. Ollivander, and I am keen to see what you will do with a wand of your own. You should be able to collect everything you need and still have time to explore a little as well. Experience Hogsmeade at your own pace. We can meet up in the town circle when you are finished. Enjoy yourself. I will see you soon. I'll be right with... Ah, it's you. Um, just a moment, please. Ah, mm. hello, sir. I'm looking for... For a new wand, yes. It's about time. Yes, uh, about time? Well, you're our new fifth-year student, are you not? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you are. Gerbold Ollivander's the name. But of course, you'll have heard of the Ollivanders, I'm sure. Finest wand makers in the world. It's a pleasure to meet you, truly. Now, come with me. Let's find you the perfect wand, shall we? Mm, uh, no, 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 not you. Um, ah, yes, yes. Hmm. Powerful core, ten and a half inches. Hmm. You might do. Here, give this one a try. Well, go ahead, swish. Hmm, how odd. Uh, once more, come on, really swish it. Oh dear. Well, this isn't a good match at all, is it? 
um, we'll find you something not to worry. Mm. No, not you. Uh, uh, mm. Perhaps, yes. A rare wood, 13 and 3 quarter inches, dragon heart string. Let's give this one a try. Mm. Goodness. Looks like it's back to the shelf for you. This is proving to be trickier than I had anticipated. How perplexing. Um, where are you? Perhaps you? Ah, there you are. Yes. I think you might be the one. Here. Take it. Hmm. How intriguing. Curious indeed. How intriguing. Curious indeed. rare and a core with a strong sense of initiative how intriguing what do you think Another wand, another beginning of a bright and magical future. <laughs> ah. Now, how did that feel? Good. Different. I sense a sort of surge of some kind. A match. Your connection seemed particularly powerful. The right wand will learn from you, just as you learn from it. I'm eager to try it out. Of course. And a phoenix feather core is terribly selective. This will be an excellent match indeed. And the bond between you and your wand should only grow stronger. Do not be surprised at your new wand's ability to perceive your intentions, particularly in a moment of need. That sounds wonderful, Mr. Ollivander. I'll let you get to it. Do come and see me again, if ever I can be of further assistance. Okay, visit. Um, I'm going. Don't imagine.
यार मयू क्या हाल है पता नहीं यार मैं तो हैरी पॉटर का बहुत बड़ा फैन हूँ मुझे बहुत खुश हुए इस गेम से परफॉर्मेंस I hope it's not a mind game. अच्छा जी कहाँ जाना है? Well, hello there. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the seeds Professor Weasley arranged for me to collect. Oh, the ditany for the new fifth year. <laughs> I take it that's you then. Merlin's beard. Starting Hogwarts is a fifth year. You must be positively reeling from it all. Not at all. I'm choosing to see it all as one big adventure. Well, bravo. Not everyone has the temperament to take things as they come. Name's Timothy Teasdale, by the way, and this is my shop, the Magic Neat. I keep the cart out here because I like a good chat. Can't very well be in the thick of things if I'm hidden away inside now, can I? I suppose not. In addition to seeds, I have plenty of plants. Grow everything myself. My speciality is potion ingredients. Even Pippin purchases from me. But what say we get you a packet of Dittany seeds? Let me guess. You're after something fresh. Dittany seeds. Okay. Do have a look around. Plenty of ingredients to pique your interest, I'd wager. वालेकुम सलाम क्या हाल है बस यार अल्लाह का शुक्र है
An inquiring mind. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the spellcrafts Professor Weasley ordered. Matilda, student. I thought I might be seeing you soon. I am the proprietor here. Thomas Brown. I take it you've had a conjuring lesson then? I'm afraid I haven't yet, sir. Ah, but you will soon enough. It is magic at its purest. Creating something out of nothing. Of course, it is not without complexity. But that is where my spellcrafts come in. Stay the course, and you could soon impress even Professor Weasley. I look forward to that day. And I too see in it. Spellcrafts are incredibly useful for conjuring unique items like custom pieces of furniture, or decoration. But I shall let Professor Weasley do the teaching. For now, let's get the spell crafts you need. A potting table and a potion station. Yes? I believe so, sir. Good. Nothing like being able to grow your own ingredients and brew what you want, when you want. Let's have a look. Let's look at what we have, shall we? If you're interested, feel free to take a look around at the rest of my inventory. Welcome to J. Pippin's Potions. Pardon me, sir. Oh, thank goodness. When I heard the bell, I thought you were Miss Lawang. Not that she deigns to come here. Though, I don't believe I've seen your face here before, either. It's my first time in Hogsmeade, actually. Is it really? Well, Parry Pippin at your service. And this Pakistan is J. Pippin's Double Potions. Double Pippin's Potions for all ailments. Up, shit, I will let you. It's on the sign, of course, but Grandfather always made me say it in full. How may I help you today? Professor Weasley sent me to collect some recipes. I'm new at Hogwarts. You're the student she sent the owl about. I set your things aside immediately. I suspected if you're anything like I was at your age, you'd want your potion supplies. Is it not the most fascinating art to potion making? Rivals anything you can do with a wand, I've always said. A potion's really that versatile. They may not be as showy as spell work, but make no mistake, they are just as powerful. They can heal, destroy, protect. You'll discover all of this soon enough. As it's your first time in, I should mention that it's not just potion recipes I sell. I also offer ready-made drafts for all manner of uses, and... I unveil new ones from time to time. Pop in when you can so you don't uh, miss out on anything. Hmm? But for now, let's get you those recipes, shall we? What can I do for you today? Feel free to take a look at the rest of my inventory. Or come back another time if you're in a rush today. Well, that's everything. Better go and find Natty.
पता नहीं यार शायद किया हो मुझे नहीं लगता वैसे आई हैव एवरीथिंग आई सी व्हाट यू मेंट अबाउट नॉट बीइंग एबल टू पिक अ फेवर शॉप वी शुड वॉक अराउंड अ बिट मोर परहैप्स टुडे इज द डे आई फाइनली पिक वन Goodness, a second troll. Did you two take on a fully grown troll by yourselves? I suppose so. It's all a bit of a blur to be honest. Merlin's beard. Are you all right? We are, and we were glad to help. I'd say help is a bit of an understatement. Nerve like that. The makings of Anora if you ask me. If you are unharmed, perhaps the two of you wouldn't mind helping me put a few things back to where they were. Of course, officer. Singer. Officer Singer. And thank you again. Oh, uh, uh, Lila, a moment if you would. I will see what he wants. Repair. Her.
Prepare her. Lucky they didn't do more damage. Repairer. We were just talking about you. Hello, sir. I don't believe we've met. Allow me to introduce myself, uh, Augustus Hill, Clothier Extraordinaire. I should like to thank you for your remarkable bravery in fighting those trolls, and not to mention your help restoring Hogsmeade to its rightful state. I was happy to help. Frankly, you deserve an Order of Merlin. But I can offer you something much more useful. I own Gladrag's Wizardware, and among my inventory are some unique items that afford certain protections, as it were. Life-saving protections. And as I suspect this won't be your last dangerous encounter, I'd like to give you one such set of robes. In thanks for what you did today. Thank you, Mr. Hill. That's very generous of you. It's the least I can do. Uh, now, uh, let's try this on for size, shall we? Plenty for your perusal today. Take your time. Hmm. an extraordinary introduction to Hogsmeade. I would say that we, and you in particular, have earned at least one butter beer. Shall we head to the Three Broomsticks? Sounds like a good idea. Wonderful. Just down this way, then. I sell even more battle-worthy items, should you be inclined. You're most welcome to peruse my shop at your leisure. Assuming it is not too busy, you might even meet Serona, the owner. She is a charming hostess and a powerful witch. Good one to know. You said you could get to the child when they came to Hogsmeade. That all you needed was a distraction. I gave you a distraction. I just watched a student take down your distraction. Who is this child? What are you not telling me? All you need to know is that if you cannot get to the child, then you have no value to me. Did they see us? I don't think so. What was that goblin doing with Victor Rookwood? Vanrock is working with Rookwood. The goblin from the Daily Prophet. I knew I'd seen him somewhere. Quickly, let's get inside the three broomsticks. A 
It's a treat to see you, Lord Gok. I shall let you know if I hear anything. Thank you, Serona. You be well. Really? That's a man's voice, I swear. Now, what can I... Oh, there's a face I haven't seen before. <laughs> it's my first time here. Welcome. Butterbeer's on me. Heard about the attack. I shall be looking in on the other shopkeepers and residents shortly. Glad to see you two escaped injury. Thanks to this one, single-handedly took down a troll. Is that right? Well done. Thanks for this. My pleasure. I will say, <sighs> trolls in Hogsmeade. That's never happened before. Something's not right. The only brutes we usually have to deal with are... <coughs> Oh, time lane. Was that Lodgok I saw leaving just now? <laughs> Your clientele's not what it used to be, Sarona. Not to worry, Victor. Once the two of you leave, the caliber of my clientele will greatly improve. I wouldn't do that if I were you, Theophilus. Come now. No need for theatrics. I'm only here for this one anyway. My friend is enjoying a well-earned butterbeer. Only want a quick word. Perhaps you didn't hear me. I said, my friend is busy. One would think you all had enough bloodshed for one day. Come, Theophanes. The three broomsticks isn't what it used to be. Let's take our galleons elsewhere. Can't drink butterbeer forever. Seems you've made an unfortunate enemy. Watch your back. Rookwood and Harlow are worse than any troll you might encounter. Trolls, Ranrock, and Rookwood. What are you not telling me? I promise to tell you everything. But it's perhaps best I do that later. I think that now might be a good time to head back to the castle. Oh, this is awesome. I am certainly glad Serona was there. And that she isn't intimidated by thugs like Brookwood and Harlow. I want to understand what's going on, and I hope you will tell me. But for the moment, we should return to the castle. Professor Weasley will certainly hear about the troll attack soon if she hasn't already. I don't want her to worry. Don't we just fast travel?
यार पाकिस्तान में तो लोगों को मोबाइल की पबजी पसंद है यार अब क्या हो सकता है मैंने बड़ा यार पैसा खर्चा किया है अपने सिस्टम का पबजी खेल मैं सौ सालों में नहीं खेल रहा कभी भी मेरे पास है मेरे पास ओरिजिनल पबजी है कंप्यूटर वाली मोबाइल वाली भी नहीं और बहुत सालों से है मेरे पास जब रिलीज भी नहीं हुई थी वक्त से रिलीज होने से पहले भी लोग अर्ली एक्सेस में थी लोग उस वक्त एक ही मैप था पबजी में और ग्राफिक्स भी बड़े माड़े होते थे साउथ फेंग मुझे काफी लोगों ने कहा जी टी ए खेलो जी टी ए फाइव भी है वो भी बहुत खेली है मगर जी नहीं जाता खेलने का वॉर जोन वॉर जोन चलो बहुत अच्छी है पबजी से तो बेहतर ही है वो खेलनी चाहिए मगर अपने शौक की बात है ना मुझे ऐसी गेमें पसंद है आर पी जी सिंगल प्लेयर टाइप ये भी रिलीज हुई है दो दिन पहले गेम मेरे पास ओरिजिनल है जो मैं खेल रहा हूँ है तो सिंगल प्लेयर ही मगर बहुत हिट हुई हुई है इस वक्त खेलनी तो वही गेम चाहिए जो ट्रेंड में हो मगर यार पता है शौक की भी बात होती है मुझे इतना कोई शौक नहीं है ट्रेंडिंग गेम्स खेलने का ट्रेंड तो वैसे ही कर रही है ये वाली गेम जो अभी मैं खेल रहा हूँ ना हॉगवर्ड्स लेगेसी स्टीम में सिर्फ इस वक्त अगर खोल के देखो ना इसी गेम को स्टीम में साढ़े सात लाख लोग खेल रहे हैं इस वक्त इस गेम को सिंगल प्लेयर है हालांकि नहीं खेल रहे होंगे लोग पाकिस्तान में भी क्योंकि एक एक मूवी मशहूर हैरी पॉटर का नाम सुना है ना हैरी पॉटर ये हैरी पॉटर की दुनिया में बनी हुई ना गेम
हाँ उसी के बेस पे बनी है मगर वो स्टोरी नहीं है बस उसकी दुनिया में बनी हुई है नहीं वो नहीं है प्रोफेसर आई एम ग्लैड टू सी यू एंड आई यू थैंक मर्ल एंड यूर इन वन पीस आई हर्ड अबाउट द अटैक ट्रोल्स इन हॉग्स मीड सर द ट्रोल्स वर वेयरिंग आर्मर इट हैड दैट डार्क ग्लो लाइक द ड्रैगन कॉलर गॉब्लिन सिल्वर रैनरॉक यूज्ड इट टू कंट्रोल द ड्रैगन बट हाउ एंड व्हाई सेंड ट्रोल्स टू They were there because of me. I overheard Ranrock talking with Victor Rookwood. Ranrock was in Hogsmeade with Rookwood. The trolls were Ranrock's distraction so that Rookwood could get to me, and he would have had Sorona and the patrons at the Three Brumsticks not intervened. This is great news indeed. If Ranrock's goblins and dark wizards are after you, they want what we found in that vault. They're after the locket. You said you discovered something in it. Yes, yes. I discovered an inscription. When I read it aloud, this map appeared. Clever enchantment. It's a map of Hogwarts, to be sure, but I do not know where it leads. It leads to the library, a restricted section, to be precise, and a bit beyond. I see traces of magic there on the map. I suspected you would see something. Shall we go? I appreciate your enthusiasm and I'm eager to discover what we may find there as well. But if our experience at Gringotts, let alone what happened to Miriam, taught me anything, it's that the path we're on is terribly dangerous. I'd like you to work with Professor Hecate a bit before we continue. But sir, how dangerous could the library be? Perhaps we're only after a book. Perhaps we are only after a book, but we should be prepared for anything. Once you've honed your defensive magic further, come and see me. I'll let Professor Hecate know to expect you. Lumos.
Can you hear me? Are you in my stream? You're not. Oh, right. So, why why are you so happy that I asked about the trans stuff? I thought it was a bug. I genuinely thought it was a bug that they somehow I don't know screwed up the, uh uh that barmaid's voice. Why 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 are you so happy? It's kind of weird. Like I'm not acting racist or um, what's the right word? Uh like, like I'm not acted, acting bigoted, but why why does it make you happy that I asked that question? It was a genuine question. It wasn't a troll question, I swear. And you asked another thing, why it runs so great for me? Because I have a really good computer. I'm playing it at 4K and everything, but... Okay, let me... I kind of agree with that like I'm gonna be honest with you I really agree with that um, okay first I'm gonna ask answer your question uh, you have 10, 10 GB of RAM I don't know if you're talking about VRAM or RAM RAM I have 32 GB of uh, RAM if you're asking about VRAM I have like 24 GB I have a 3090 okay coming back um, I have nothing against trans people like they're humans they uh, they can exist uh, but my point like i have a very small uh, like uh, uh, not small my mindset is very simple uh in the in the hogs world uh, no 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 in the uh, what's her name in the jk rolling world of I'm harry potter hogs made against uh, like, you know there is uh, this culture doesn't exist uh, uh trans people or gay people i think there's no point of putting them in it kind, it's exactly me. like like i'm i'm brown i'm not white this is exactly like if you see a lot of brown actors in the Lord of the Rings because Tolkien didn't make them uh, brown but there's another debate Tolkien uh, didn't make them like he left the imagination to the readers right so I don't know if JK Rowling did that plus we have uh, we get to imagine uh, the Harry Potter world because of the movies I never read the books I have watched the movies a bunch of times I love the Harry Potter world I've I recently rewatched them again because of the game, but I totally agree with you. I I agree with you. Oh, Claire, like Claire, uh, I'm gonna be honest with you. Claire looks like a woman until she says so that I'm not. But that person literally had a man's voice. Yeah, yeah, I saw that. You know, I was surprised. Like, I I took my phone out. So, I was in Hogsmeade for the quest. I took my phone out. And then I was like... Uh, uh, I was like, what? 
20 30 people even uh, reply to my comments and some people got triggered I mean, there was there was this chick she was she was a kid and she was like hey couldn't you search the forms like dude how was i supposed to know thanks man i'm going to buy some uh, profile stuff for it Okay, I need to stop uh, going to run up. Okay, can you tell me one thing? How do you get night time? Like, how do I move time? I want to see what Hogwarts looks like during the night. How nice to see you, my young friend. Revelio. I have st I had stutters too. Okay, I'm gonna tell you something. So yesterday I played this game for the first time. Uh, I'm streaming it with my GPU. I'm recording it at 4K with my GPU. Yesterday I did I did the exact same thing. I was streaming. I was recording with my GPU. I was streaming with my GPU. I was playing. So my graphic card was doing everything. And yesterday it was fine with the same settings. And today uh, I have the DLSS at ultra performance yesterday i had it w i had it on uh, dlss at quality and now just yes yesterday it was smooth as hell and today it's not i don't know ha what happened but it's not like my fr frames are dropping a lot a which gpu do you have do you have a 3070 ti because you said it's a agb card 1070 okay what resolution are you playing at? The sorting hat. I think, uh, oh. Okay. Accio. So, um, yesterday, how was it yesterday? Or the days, so... When you started playing, was it fine or has it worsened now? Wait a minute, let me, uh, um... If you update your GPU drivers after following this guide, you will have to redo all of the steps again. It is definitely inconsistent like one of the person but uh, someone like commented commented here and he was like 
the FPS are inconsistent at certain reasons. They're absolutely right. I felt the same. Like today, not yesterday. Yesterday the game was perfect. I was like, this game is smooth. But today it's not. I don't know what happened. What do you mean miss DLSS? You don't have DLSS in your settings or you... I don't know. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. <laughs> Revelio. Honestly, I've totally forgotten how to, like, fast travel. How do you fast travel? Activate flames, only to green you can. Hmm. I have no idea what just said, bro. Handy I feel resource stupid indeed, now. your field guide. I most need to be included. Can you imagine? Literally like almost a million people are playing this game on Steam. Like if you multiply that with 60 or 80 dollars, imagine like it's almost 40 to 60 million dollars. Like dude, imagine the money the developers are getting, the, imagine the money Steam is getting. And imagine how many people uh, like how many people are playing on playing it on Steam or on Xbox which we don't know about? I mean how many people would have refunded the game? 20%? 20%? Like this game is good. Like I get it, it's buggy, but it's good. So you're saying I can't fast travel from here? These green flames. I would never refund it. Like how do like what am I supposed to do? What? Acha oh. I'm on the map. Oh, another green frame. They're not green, bro. They're all. I must have. Oh, this. How do how do you make them green? Oh. Oh, exactly like in The Witcher. Okay, okay. I get it, I get it. Take my words back. But I visit I visited like so many green flames today, but no shit is happening, man. Oh. I think I've been like Oh, this one. I get it. Okay, let's travel here. I'm I legit. So I'm gonna legit play this game for like half an hour, and I'm gonna unlock all the flames in Hogwarts. So what do you have? You have Hogsmeade and Hogsword. I'm sorry, Hogsword. You have the school and that village, and that's it. That's that's the map. That's like the entire map. I'll get in trouble for this. Is everything all right? Oh, hello. Nice to see you again. Thank you for asking. And I'm afraid everything's not all right. I may be in a spot of trouble with the librarian. You might recall that I was trying to cast non-verbally when we met in the common room. Well, I mastered that. And now I've taken to creating my own charms. Thought I'd perfected my light as a feather charm to use on my library books. 
My arms get so tired carrying them around all day. But I must have confused the Latin word for feather with bird in my incantation, because when I opened my bag just now in the library, they literally took flight. <laughs> that sounds brilliant, actually. Thank you. Somehow I don't think the librarian will see it that way. I collect the books and remove the charm myself, except this isn't the first time one of my charms has threatened the peace of the library. Our meat told Madame Scribner they were my books flying around, so she said that if I caused her any more trouble, she'd write to my parents. Perhaps you could get them for me. There are only five. She won't be suspicious of a new student looking around. I suppose I could help, if I have the time. Oh, I'd very much appreciate it. One of the books is my diary. I'd rather it not fall into the wrong hands. If you could collect them and bring them to me, I can remove the charm. Hmm. Okay, let's go to the library. I'm oh. going to have to use Akio to get to those books. Akio! Got it. Only four more to go. Revelio. What are you up to now? Reading can be a magical and spell. Why can't students see that? Lumos. Good luck, bro. I'm sure they're kind of like trying to fix it. Trying to release a hotfix or a patch to fix this issue. Do you play The Witcher 3? It's my all time favorite game. I love The Witcher. Why does there's a ban magic in the library? Someone has been sticking to this trick check thing, blah 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 blah. Where's the damn flying book? Right now? Oh, The Witcher 3, you mean The Witcher... Oh, right. Okay, in the beginning, when I when the game was released, I hated The Witcher 3. I was like, what a shitty game. But now I love it. Where are you from? Hmm. Where's the stupid book? Oh, here it is. Found one book.
Right. Okay, so I need to be in the circle. That's understood. You know when you just wrote that you refunded it? I thought you refunded Hogwarts Legacy. I was like, what? <laughs> then I was like, oh, you're talking about the Witcher. I think this is the restricted section, right? So I, um, shit, dude, your RAM's like, it's almost all occupied. You should try to, um, uh, you know, have a bit of, uh, a bit more RAM, like at least 16 GB. You have 16 GB. Hmm. Then your RAM is fine. Like, if it's occupying 7 GB, then your RAM's fine. That can be an issue, but I guess the pertinent uh, solution is waiting for the patch, which I'm sure they are working on as we speak. Yeah. You know, I was thinking about Quidditch, right? So you have the Quidditch uh, ground, the tiny stadium, right? And I was thinking maybe in the coming patches, they they're going to release Quidditch. And it's going to be like an entire thing, like... I don't know, that's my opinion. Have you like tried to lower the graphics settings? Like really lowering them? You should definitely do that for a while if you are like if you oh thank god I found the book. That's the last book. Now to take them back to Cressida. Today was a good day and that is until Garrett splashed whatever ridiculous oh I can't read that man so I'm gonna like take a break for a while I'm I'm really sleepy because where I'm from it's almost two in the morning and you should definitely subscribe to my channel man I'd love your support Cressida Bloom hello Cressida I collected your books, including your diary. Oh, what a relief. Thank you. I'll happily take the heavy lot off your hands now.
Here you are. Well, lesson learned. I certainly won't be practicing any charms in the library again anytime soon. Now, to work out where I went wrong. Perhaps I should start brushing up on my Latin. Thank goodness some people are trustworthy. Certainly wouldn't want anyone but me reading my diary. Okay, so... I need a... kind of an advice from you. So I hate my character's face, like I think his eyes are really small. I think his eyes, they're really small and I've been thinking I want to like change his face so obviously I can't change his face because it's what's done is done so I was thinking I should restart the game like you know I don't know restart the game not the game like um, start a new game and then choose Slytherin yeah I was thinking the same thing like Gryffindor I don't know I want to be a dark wizard so I, I don't know in the beginning Rebellion. Wait a minute. No Man's Sky. So is No Man's Sky the game which was refunded a lot when it was released? It w it's in it's in space somewhere. It's about planets or something. I don't know, I haven't played it. Rebellion. Oh. You know when you were talking about refunds and all that, I was thinking about that game. Off on another adventure, are we? Oh, great. But I know that, I know one thing that they fixed the game, I know that. Oh, here's a ghost. Hey, dude. Do you remember this guy from the Harry Potter movies? I think I do. I don't know, maybe I'm not. Hmm. Where's Sir, where's Sir Nicholas? And how would you get Snape? So are you saying that this game reaches Harry Potter because obviously it's like a hundred years before that and it has its own story but I think we would see references Yeah, I know. What if we see Dumbledore? Um, as a kid. Oh, I think I'm on the roof. Dude. Uh, it's not the roof, it's some balcony. It's not, it's definitely not the roof. Maybe.
What? What the fuck's that? Hmm. Okay, so basically you touch this, like you press X uh, on this frog and you reach to the other side of the room. Some, I think on that side, on that side, like... Hmm, very interesting. Okay, I'm going back. Exactly, like, that was, uh, that was exactly, so... My initial assumption was like I know one thing that this game is kind of a bit a tad bit con controversial because JK Rowling said some stuff which I don't care about honestly and then uh, obviously there uh, there's a group of people who are like spilling hate on, about this game because it's obviously got to do it's about the world which JK Rowling made and JK Rowling has some homophobic beliefs apparently apparently so when I entered that broomsticks what's it's called three broomsticks right and I was like hmm the voice the voice of this character is bugged like legit it's bugged and then I And then I was like, wait a minute. Accio. Revelio. Honestly, I have no idea where I am. Oh, okay, I'm back here. So I'm gonna stop playing. I'm, I'm lit literally tired. What do you mean? In Red Dead Redemption, you mean? Is there a trans character? I think it becomes very inaccurate. Like, uh, in the 1800s, there would never be a woman sheriff. 